So, remember the uh, Bachman 2002 Thomas? Yeah, the uh, stock standard one. Well, look at him now, and look at you, not expecting people to grow and change. You should feel ashamed of yourself. No, chokes aside, as I'm sure you guys can see, this is uh, where I've gone with this Thomas now. I've slowly started the process of bettering this Bachman, but as I'm sure you can tell, it's not complete yet. Yeah, we've uh, still got quite a bit to go here. So today I'll walk you through not only what I've done so far, but we'll also hopefully finish this guy and uh, have a completed better Bachman Thomas by the end of this together. So uh, yeah, let's just jump into it with what I've done so far. Okay, so I'm fairly certain I mentioned this in the uh, actual review, but uh, the first thing I'm sure you can see is this little bit of black paint that's been applied between the splasher and the tank. Now, currently this is only on the side. To completely finish it, we do have to do the uh, front of the tanks as well, but just look at this. That alone is such an upgrade. Bachman, it would only take you 10 seconds. Can you please just do it please, for us, for us? And the second inclusions, I guess, are the uh, 3D printed parts, that being this uh, face and 3D printed lamp, both of which come from my good friend Trainstorm. Now, should you be in the market for any 3D printed parts, sometimes Trainstorm has his commissions open, there are probably people in your area with a 3D printer, so, uh, you know, it's normally not too expensive to send them a file. You know, it never hurts to ask around, and there's always Shapeways, so, uh, that's pretty much how I get these and everything else, just asking around and buying files where I need to, and boom. Now, this face is pretty solid, but, uh, does need some modification. You can probably see the, uh, little blue smudge there on the nose, and that's because it's normally worn by the pink Terrier Thomas. Or, not Terrier, it's a D1X, and, uh, that's another video for another day. That's my, uh, if Thomas was in a nightmare, this is probably what he would be. You know, Thomas is just worst nightmares come true. Yeah, again, video for another day. We're taking the face from that one and putting it on this one, but, uh, to do that, we're gonna need to, uh, fix that blue smudge, so let's just jump onto that. Okay, when it comes to faces, first things first is take whatever you're painting outside. Now, thankfully, this is something that was already painted and finished by Trainstorm, or uh, was before. But like I said, for this Thomas model, we will be redoing it. But uh, for that, we only need to do the painting. Sometimes you need to sand or just do a little bit extra, but enough of that. As you can see here, what we're using for the uh, main paint is Tamiya Surface Primer. Now, this is also... The main color I usually make my faces, and that's for a couple reasons. One, it kind of looks accurate, and two, if I ever do need to sand more or uh, fix an imperfection, this is the perfect paint for it, or a primer, I guess. So, yeah, just spray that how you need to, and you'll end up with something like this. Okay, so I don't really hate the uh, coal load the Bachman Thomas has, but let's be honest, it could be better. And to fix that today, we're using some real coal. This is stuff that I found over time or that my uh, mother has found me and given to me. Yeah, I kind of just have a coal collection and we're gonna break it up today with uh, two pretty large chunks and a hammer, as you can see here. And to do this, I'm going to do exactly what you think. We take the coal, put it on another rock and just slowly start crushing off what we need. We don't need too much for a... Uh, this project, but, you know, you can pretty much get the idea. Now, eventually, I did move on and try this in a uh, old toolbox, but... That kind of had mixed results, sadly. I just didn't have a bucket, so, you know, just making do. But yeah, after that, we not only have a, a little bit of coal, but a finished face, which at this point is pretty much done drying. But before that, and uh, anything, I think it's time we finish that little bit of black paint on the tanks. And to do that, again, I'm pretty much doing wh exactly what you'd expect. Just mask off the part of the upper tank you don't want painted black, and the top part of the splasher, and just paint it black. Yeah, my camera work here is kind of shit, I know, but you get the idea. Okay, and now it's time to finish that face, or, uh, at least put us in that right direction. We're gonna add the eyebrows now. And to do this, it's usually the exact same every time. I use a Sharpie pen, a, a fine point one, and just 
slowly add them however I need to, if they're curved or straight. Just whatever you do, take your time, and make sure you let it dry before you handle it. Not only the face, but uh, the paint on the eyebrows as well. Now, I've seen a couple people ask me how to take the uh, original Bachman Thomas face off, and sadly, as you can see, that's something I've already done. But uh, just as a tip, use a hobby knife or something like that. It will slip off like that. Honestly, usually you can use your nail. It's really not that tough. And on the note of faces, I've also had some people ask me how I uh, normally weather these, and this is something kind of like before that's just a very simple process. As you can see here, I've got the face secured with some blue tack here on the top, a can of Tamiya matte black paint, and again, this is something I'll revert since Thomas won't have a weathered face, but just as an example, you point the face away from you and slowly spray the can, moving your way upwards just until you hit the face and it kind of just does this. As you can see here, we have a little bit of a dusting effect that's only there on the top, kind of like Thomas had a bit of a, you know, blowout from his funnel and just got filthy. It's really not hard and maybe a bit intimidating, but again, hopefully this shows you it's nothing too rough. And now we really finish this face with some Tamiya Weathering Master, or specifically model makeup. As you can see here, we've got a peach color, which is perfect for blush, we've got an ivory, a, a pale orange, but for this, we're just using the peach. And using the tool provided, I just put that on the cheeks, the forehead, the nose, wherever I feel like is appropriate. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are applying that coal. And the way I do this is uh, usually putting a very thin layer of a uh, glue on top of the original coal load, then sprinkling the new stuff on top and sealing that in with ballast bond. Now, again, I know my camera work here is terrible, but uh, bear with me. And finally, we move on to weathering, and this is something that's very simple. Again, it's daunting, it's something that'll scare you, but once you do it, it's really not that hard. What I do is uh, often pull up references. As you can see here, there's a uh, real blue tank engine on the screen, and that kind of showed me they don't really get dirty, as you may expect. These engines just kind of get faded, so that was the goal with Thomas. Don't really make it heavy as much as it's just a discoloration, and Thomas has been worked a bit. And boom, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have quite the upgraded Thomas, and it really didn't take a lot. You know, just two 3D printed parts, some uh, weathering powders, and a little bit of time. Now, something I forgot to mention is the uh, back lamp. The back lamp is also something I repainted with uh, a white paint pen and a uh, red paint pen, as you can see there. It was a uh, pretty simple process. It's just uh, repainting that silver and adding the red where the silver was. But yeah, there is that. I also did my best to get just a little bit of that discoloration on the wheels. That's often something I see people overlook. They'll do quite a bit of weathering on the body and just completely forget about the wheels the uh, engine, you know, rides on. And, uh, you know, if Thomas is going to be a bit discolored, those should be too. And hopefully that shows up on screen pretty well here. It's kind of iffy in camera, you know, photos and stuff like that. But yeah, with this, uh, I guess, tutorial, if you can call it that, Hopefully you have a better Bachman, just like I do. And I guess with all that being said, well, shout out to my patrons as always. You guys are awesome. You make videos like this possible, and I love you all. And I guess on that note, let's also see this guy in action. And subscribe, because you know you want to.
Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.